It's Black History Month, and we could all use a little more soul. Now, people who know me well might think I'm talking about the incredible music of Motown, which would be accurate. But in this case, I'm talking about Thomas Soul, one of the greatest American voices advancing freedom forward thinking. I've been a fan of Thomas Sowell's for years because he's so right on everything from economics to personal freedom. Imagine my thrill when I learned that he started his life right here in North Carolina. Born in Gastonia in 1930, Thomas Sowell lived here until he was nine, and his early life was tough. He was born black in the Jim Crow South with no father in his household. He was the first member of his family to go to school beyond the sixth grade. After serving in the Marines, he worked by day and took college classes at night. His talent took him to Harvard, where he graduated magna cum laude in economics. Thomas Sowell could have turned into an ivory tower academic, spending all day lecturing starry-eyed college students. Teaching was a major part of his career, but he also shared his knowledge with the wider world. After a 1950 letter urging desegregation of Washington, D.C. schools, he eventually launched a syndicated newspaper column. It appeared for a quarter century in 150 newspapers across the country. Thomas Sowell specializes in translating complex economic concepts and bringing them to the kitchen table. For example, his definition of scarcity. It means that what everybody wants adds up to more than there actually is. Or consider his three-part test for public policy proposals. First, compared to what? Second, at what cost? And third, what are the hard facts? Many proposals fail when subjected to such basic questions. If only lawmakers, bureaucrats, and politicos would heed such simple and wise counsel. In 2020, Thomas Sowell celebrated his 90th birthday. That same year, he published the latest in a long line of books. This one highlighted charter schools and their enemies. He still shares his wisdom with us today. Thomas Sowell has been recognized with the Bradley Prize for Intellectual Achievement and the National Humanities Medal. I think it's time for the state of North Carolina to recognize its remarkable native son. Now, I realize the state normally honors people posthumously, but in this case, wouldn't it be better to honor him while he's still here to receive it? We've been through a lot of firsts over the last 12 months. Let another one be a resolution honoring the great Thomas Sowell for his decades of wisdom and contribution to advancing freedom for all people and do it while he's still alive and during Black History Month. I, for one, would be happy to help make it all happen. If you have feedback for me, email me at therightaoc at johnlock.org. And for news and information you won't get anywhere else, visit johnlock.org and carolinajournal.com. And while you're there, please consider an investment in freedom so we can continue to bring you the news and information you need to make wise public policy decisions. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed.